So you're looking to add Zyros minimap to Minecraft, right? Well, you have come to the right video because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add that minimap that you see on the left to Minecraft and not just any Minecraft, but Minecraft 1.9 things. Not only will I teach you how to install the map, but how to fix any issues you might have along the way because I have heard that some of you get some issues with the Java installation and the Forge. Don't worry, I got you. Let's get started with the tutorial. And before we start with the tutorial, let me tell you real quick about Apex hosting. If you click the first link in the description right now, you will get 25% off your first Minecraft server. Now, besides all the great benefits that Apex Hosting provides you with, Apex Hosting is a website that I use to host my own Minecraft server and you know what's amazing about them is that you could access the console of your server through your phone, meaning that you could be at Walmart, need to change your server time to like daytime, nighttime, give somebody permissions, you could do it through your phone, I think that's amazing. You can make a Java or a Bedrock server if you want to add mods, if you want to make an Aircraft, pick someone server, it's all up to you. Check out the first link in the description to get 25% off and now let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial. And step number one obviously is to download Xyros minimap and I I really hope that's how you pronounce this name, Cyros. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyways, if you want to download Cyros, you can read through our reading guide on how to do this, but the main thing in here is to click the second link in the description, come to our reading guide and click where it says download Cyros minimap. Once you click on that button, that is going to redirect you to the CurseForge website. In here, we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find the version that we want to download. In this tutorial, we will be downloading 1.19. Usually 1.19 should be here on the top or here on the right side or here on the main file. It's all up to you. Just look for it until you find the game version 1.19 and then click download file. Once you do, it's going to redirect you over here where in five seconds, the download should start immediately. In my case though, it's going to ask me where I want to save this file. As you can see here, I'm just going to click save and then I'm going to drop it into the desktop. As you guys know from my tutorials, I love dropping things into the desktop. Once the file has downloaded, go ahead and drag it and drop it into the desktop. And now that we have the minimap, we need to know one thing. That thing is that Saedo's minimap is a mod for Forge 1.19. And yes, I know many of you know that you need Forge to play modern Minecraft, but do you know that you also need to update your Java in your computer because any Minecraft above 1.16.5 would require you to have the latest version of Java out there and chances are many of you have Java 8, Java 7 or Java 17. How do you check your Java version before you download the newest Java? Just click here where it says type here to search, type out of room programs. That is going to bring this up. Go ahead and click on there and then in here, click on search this list and type Java. As you can see, I have Java 18, meaning that I have the newest Java, but you might have to update Java. If you have any other version of Java here, just click on it and click on install and then install the newest Java, which I'm going to show you how to do in a second. Also, obviously we're going to need Forge 1.19. If you don't know how to install Forge 1.19, 1.19 don't worry because we also have a guide on that go ahead and click on the third link in the description which will bring you to our written guide on how to install forge in here feel free to scroll and read through the pages but the main thing here is to click where it says download forge here that is going to redirect you over here as you can see forge 1.19 is already selected automatically in case it isn't though when you come over here you could always look for it here on the left as you can see they have all the other versions just find 1.19 once you select it click on installer that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds again we're going to click a button that appears on the top right that says the skip I know there's a lot of waiting five seconds. It's not up to me, guys. We're just supporting the creators by watching their ads. Anyways, once we're here, we're going to click a skip and that is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it asks me though. So I'm going to save it here and then I'm going to drop it into my desktop. So now we have Saedos. We have Forge 1.19. We're missing Java 18 though. Remember, we need to update our Java in our computer in order to install Forge 1.19. Anyways, let me go ahead and drop Forge 1.19 into my desktop. And yes, the moment has come. How do you update Java 18? Don't worry. Click on the fourth link in the description that says how to download and install Java or something like that, which will bring you to our written guide. Feel free to scroll to the pages, look through it. But the main thing in here is to click download Java here. That is going to redirect you to this website where you're going to scroll down. As you can see, we have Java 18 selected and then we have Windows here. We're going to click on Windows. Then we're going to select x64 installer and we're going to click on this blue line in here, which is going to start the download automatically. Again, in my case, it always asks me. I'm going to go ahead and save it and then drop it into my desktop so you guys could follow along. Now that I have Java downloaded, I'm going to drop it into my desktop. And now before we start installing a stop, we could already install Java Tink and then Forge. But here's what's going to happen. Once you update Java in your computer, most of your jar files, this is a jar file, this file with the cup will be outdated. Chances are many of you don't even see these cups in here. That is because you need to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is super, super simple. All you need is a little jar fix app. If you don't have it, just click on that link in the description that says download jar fix here. This is our guide on how to run a jar fix. Feel free to scroll through it. But the main thing here though is to click where it says download jar fix here. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click this little line that says jar fix 
Jarfix.exe. Once you click on this blue line, that is going to start the download automatically for Jarfix. I'm going to go ahead and save it and then drop it into my desktop. As you can see, I have Jarfix right here. And now I really have all the files to start installing stuff. Go ahead and close out from the browsers. Do not close this video though, because you're watching this tutorial. Now, what do we do? What's the order to work in? First thing we wanna do is install Java, I think. Go ahead and double click on it. And as you can see, mine says that I already have Java installed in my computer. So what I'm going to do is reinstall it just so you guys could see what the process should look like. Many of you won't get that sign that I got at the beginning. It would just bring you straight up to the installer, which you're going to see in a second. Let's just wait for this to finish. There we go. Now we have the installer here, and this is what you're going to get as soon as you double click in Java. You will probably get an administrator prompt before that. Just allow the app to run and then come over here, click next, next, and then just let it install. What happens after we install Java? Well, obviously we get the newest version of Java, which is the required one for any version of modern Minecraft above 1.16.5, but also your jar files should update these little jar files in here. If that's not the case though, if your jar files are still not working, also Java just finished, so I'm going to get rid of the installer. If your jar files are still not working, that is why we need a jar fix. So what we're going to do is double click on jar fix. Just go ahead and double click on it. And once you double click on jar fix, as you can see, I have this little sign that says jar fix 3.0. And as you can see, the Java runtime environment has been updated to 1.18, meaning, I mean, to 18th, meaning that all these jar files in my computer, not just this to any jar file in my computer, has been updated to the newest version of Java, which is what we want, right? So now that we run the Jarfix, we could get rid of it, and now we are ready to start installing Forge and then to add the map to the game. So, before you install Forge 1.19, though, you need to make sure you run Minecraft 1.19 vanilla at least once on your computer. So, you open your Minecraft launcher, run Minecraft 1.19. Once you're in the main menu, you could close the game and you could come back here. Make sure you close the game, though. Close the game and close the Minecraft launcher because if not, Forge won't install properly. Anyways, once you have done that, go ahead and double click on Forge 1.19. That is going to bring up this little screen right here, which is pretty much the installer for Forge 1.19. In here, we don't want to install the server neither extract we just want to install a client it should be automatically selected if not just click on install client and then click on okay that is going to start the installation for forge 1.19 it should be pretty fast actually it usually takes around 10 15 seconds it depends on your computer if your computer is fast or slow mine is all right it's an average computer and as you can see there's a sign that says okay successfully install client forge now we're going to click okay we have installed forge 1.19 what's next how do we add the map into the game well first we could get rid of forge 1.19 installer and as well as this little document that comes up and now what we need to do is launch the minecraft launcher so i'm going to click here on type to search and then i'm going to open the minecraft launcher it should open real quick and as you can see when the minecraft launcher opens since i just installed forge it's selected automatically here in the bottom left. If Forge appears here in the bottom left, that means that you install it properly, so you're good. But if it doesn't appear down there, just click here on installations and make sure that you have modded selected. As you can see, if you don't select modded, no version of modded Minecraft will appear. Once you select modded, they do appear. If that doesn't work, just click here on new installation and where it says version, scroll down until you find Forge 1.19. As you can see, I have it right here, release 1.19 Forge. You can name this whatever you want. And then once you do that, just click on create on the bottom right and that's it. You will have a new version of Forge. That's another way Way of fixing it in case it doesn't appear automatically anyways how do we add the minimap you might ask just hover over the forge icon as you can see there is forge 1.19 right here and these things will appear as you can see we have play and a little folder we're going to click on that folder that is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files so you could go ahead and minimize the background launcher whatever just minimize it and in here we're going to look for a folder called mods mods as you can see i have that folder right here mods and if i open it i have some mods this is a gun mod because i was doing a tutorial yesterday on how to install the gun mod but what happens if this folder doesn't come up what happens if you open this big folder and you don't see the mods folder in here what you're going to do let's say that you don't have the mods folder there you go i don't i don't have it anymore you're going to right click and you're going to click new that's it you're going to create a new folder just go ahead and select new folder and you're going to type mods you're going to create the mods folder yourself once you have the mods folder go ahead and open it and drag Cyrus minimap into that folder as you can see we now have Cyrus minimap inside the mods folder you could go ahead and close from this folder open the minecraft launcher back up and now you could click play on forge and let's check for the mod let's see if it's working go ahead and click play so there we go we're finally in the world and if you look to the top left we actually have the map working right there that is Aedos minimap one of my favorite maps and I also like the journey map which I'm going to make a tutorial soon on how to install that map but yeah this is pretty much how to add Aedos guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if I was able to help you don't forget to leave a like and a comment and as always bye bye